Wix dynamic pages tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Wix's dynamic pages. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know what a dynamic page, dynamic page is a page where you can add all of the content from your website through a CMS called content management system. So if you come over here, over here, you can see CMS. A dynamic page is a type of web page created to display content from the CMS content management system. So CMS collection. So it will allow you to create websites more efficiently and can handle more content while maintaining the consistent design and user experience. So it's pretty cool. If you scroll down below, we can see some examples over here. So these are pre-made templates. So let's go ahead and add a few dynamic pages into our website and see how they look. So we're going to come back over here onto Wix. You're going to make sure that you have an account. Wix is free, but there is a pricing plan, which we can get into later. But for now, when you log in, you're going to create a new site, right? So for example, I've created this site. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click on edit site and it's going to load up right here and over here this is the website right so i wanted to add a cms system over here i wanted to add a dynamic page so to do that we're going to come over here onto the left hand side and you can see you have a bunch of different options right here uh, let me see if i can increase it no i cannot so over here these are the icons so here we have add elements we have the section pages menu the design applications business media and here we have the cms content management so we're going to click on cms it's going to open up over here so it's going to tell us to set up the cms so we're going to click on add to site it's going to add to site very simply it's not a separate page or anything it's just an application that it'll install and allow you to add different content and once it's installed this little pop-up will come over here so as you can see we have the cms options so we have main option uh collection and learn more right so we have two main option so in your collection you can click on create collection you can add your own content over here so you can create it with ai or from scratch or you can import it from a csv file it depends on you so once you're done with that you can go ahead and add dynamic pages through cms so right here you can either start with a preset so pre-designed template or you can start by adding content right it depends on you. so if you click on the preset it's going to show us all these different options right here so these are basically cms these are dynamic pages and here you can go ahead and add them so uh, as you can see if you wanted to add a portfolio you just simply hover your mouse over here and add it if you wanted to learn more about it you click on more info and it'll show you so this is the collection here is the dynamic list page and this is the dynamic item page so what we'll do now is let's say we wanted to add the portfolio section so we'll just simply go ahead and click on add to site uh, it's going to create the separate pages and let us know and it's going to add all of the necessary settings within that page as well and here we go it's now added so now once that's done you'll find it right here at the bottom it's loading up as you can see it's uh, hovering over here and this is it so here is the cms system here is basically where you can go ahead and manage all of the content for your website so over here you will see a list of all the items added into your website their titles their description year the gallery uh, the main project uh, image over here client name portfolio and portfolio list over here so you can see we have default view over here this is the table and here we have if you wanted to delete some we can go ahead and delete them if we wanted to open them we can just simply hit the open button and it'll open so here we have all the media right here and here we can go ahead and add and remove some section right here is the item list with the list where you know we have item we can add the time and date as well and if you want you can click on manage fields go ahead and add or delete a specific field so let's say if you wanted to remove the year or let's say you wanted to remove the time you can do that from here as well and if you wanted to add them you can just simply click on the check button right here into this uh, little box and it will add the field automatically and then you can save it and you should be good to go but for now we'll leave it at that and over here you can go ahead and manage it so we're going to close this and show you the dynamic page so we're going to close this up and this is how it looks like so as you can see this is the page right here uh, if you click on pages you will find it right here so as you can see dynamic pages are right here this is the portfolio list this is the portfolio item now for example 
over here is the store page, right? Here you will find everything. And here is the dynamic pages. Here is the site menu. So we have different links for them. So let's say you wanted to link your dynamic page to a specific option. Well, you can do that through the navigation section. You can add a specific page for these types of pages into your navigation bar at the top. So right here, as you can see, this is how it looks. Let me go ahead and click on publish and save it to see how it would look like. All right. So let's go ahead and click on preview to preview this page. So this is the website, right? And so if we wanted to go back, we can find it right here, right? So if we click on these bar right here, we will find the portfolio. So this is the home, click on home. It'll take us to the home made home section right here. And if we wanted to go to the portfolio section, we can find it right here. So you can go ahead and quickly access different pages as well. And as you can see, each of these portfolio section or each of these pieces of content have their own specific option. So if I wanted to go to wildlife, I click on it, it'll show me all the images right here. So right here, these are the images. Uh, this is the link right here. If I wanted to see more, I click on it, it'll open up right here, as you can see. And then I can go ahead and read about it, see the images and all the details are going to be over here. And if I click on preview, I will go ahead and view the previous image and click on next to view the next image. So uh, this is pretty cool. Very helpful if you wanted to quickly add content to your website. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the editor. We're going to click on back to editor. Here we go. So now let's go ahead and select pages and go back to dynamic page and go back to portfolio list. There we go. So now if you wanted to go ahead and let's say add more pieces of content to it or delete specific pieces of content. How can you do that? Well, you can do it through the CMS. So since we've already installed it, if you click on the CMS button right here, it'll show up right here. And here we can go ahead and add a preset or manage page connections, right? Here we can manage the connections. And here is the manage content option. So if you click on it, this is the content that is created right now. We can create new collection as well, but for now, this is the one that's created. Here we can go ahead and add new pieces of content. So if we want it, we just simply click on add new piece of content. Here you can go ahead and add the title. Here you can add the description. Here you can add the year, the images as well. So over here you click on add media and click on add media. And over here you will find all the media from your website. So you can go ahead and add them through here. Or if you've already uploaded it, uh, you can just simply click on upload media and drag and drop your own media over here and then upload it to your uh, CMS section, which you can use it to add it to your website. And then you have the main project image right here. So you can go ahead and do this. And of course, it's very simple. It's very easy. Uh, if you wanted to switch a view, you can go ahead and add a new view to it. So but for now, I'll delete this. And yeah, so here we go. If you wanted to create a specific new collection or a specific new category, then of course, as I said before, you just simply click on create collection. And over here, you can click on start from scratch or create with AI it depends on you. Click on next. And over here, add the title or the name of the collection and then use what type of collection it is. It is a multi item, which is going to be set to default or a single item. It depends on you. And then just simply hit the create button and you are good to go. So pretty simple. And after that, you can go ahead and add your pieces of content into your website and you should be good to go. So very simple. This is how you do it. This is how you add dynamic pages and how you can use dynamic pages to lift up your website. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, thank you guys for watching and until next time, take care and goodbye.